Good morning, it's Dr. James. I'm so grateful to have a few moments with you today. Thank you for your time, thank you for your energy, but most importantly, I wanna give you deep appreciation for showing up today and the effort and the intention to create a life that you love with courage and conviction and today, because I know you're an awesome human being, I know that you're always in a search out there for people who could use an upgrade through your love and your affection and your encouragement. So if you're gonna bring flowers to someone today in an effort to bring happiness to them, you might also want to accompany that beautiful bouquet with this guy, with some broccoli. That's right, you know why? Because a really cool study just came out. <laughs> I'm sorry, my wife said don't, don't do this, but I, I had to do it. I think it's awesome to think about the power of this guy and happiness based on this really cool study that just came out, it actually came out of uh, Spain. They're tracking 15,000 people for 10 years. And basically what they're looking for is different types of diseases that may happen through dietary choices. They're looking at cancer, they're looking at heart disease, they're basically looking at inflammation. But one of the things they found out was unexpected was they found out there was a positive correlation with mood and the amount of fruits and vegetables the people ate over those 10 years. In fact, they found out the folks who had actually ate the most fruits and vegetables over that course of 10 years were the least likely to become depressed. But the news gets even better because here's what's really cool. You may be thinking to yourself, oh my goodness, was it 9, 10, 12 servings of vegetables? Actually, it wasn't even nearly that much. They found out that People who just moderately improved their vegetable intake, moderately had an increase in their fruits and vegetables over that 10 years, also saw a decrease in their rates for depression. And if you will, they actually help themselves to lower inflammation systemically. So what's the take home for you and I? The take home is really simple. I'm a big believer that you always feel better when you follow through and make good on your good intentions. I know that I do, it's so simple for me. I fall to sleep at night in a, such a peaceful state when I can look back and say to myself, hey gosh, you know what? I knew this would be a good thing to do and I actually followed through. I know the energy it would take to actually make this thing happen. It stretched me a bit, but I did it and it brought me peace and brought me positivity. Think about your life right now. You have this information, you have the opportunity, and really trust me on this one, you have the time to prepare vegetables. You truly do. It's such an easy opportunity. It could be a salad for lunch. It could be a stir fry for dinner. It could be throwing a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables into your smoothie in the morning alongside of some plant-based protein powder. This is easy to do. It will stretch you. And what's beautiful about this too, every time you stretch a little bit further outside of your comfort zone, you actually build more neurochemistry that creates more positivity. It actually augments your overall courage and conviction. So I love this study. I love this flower alternative or accompaniment to the flowers you're gonna to bring to a loved one today. And I really want you to know that I send you my best, my love, and my blessings. And I want you today to remember how good you are and give yourself that powerful check up from the neck up by increasing your fruits and vegetables and live with your heart out loud. Take good care. All the best. Bye-bye.